Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strict. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, we're gonna do another full face. You guys know how much I love doing full face of one brand. And today is gonna be Essence. Essence is such an affordable brand where you can find a lot of quality products. And I just bought a bunch of their new releases. So I'm really excited to let you guys know if it's worth your money or not. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So just by the way, this video is not sponsored and I did buy all this with my own money. Because these videos have so many products, we're gonna hop right into it. Let me zoom you guys in. So for primer today, we're gonna be using this product. This is the Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer. This is described as a hydrating and smoothing base with watermelon water and niacinamide, and it looks like this. And I know what you guys are probably thinking. It sounds like the Glow Recipe Dewdrops. I actually did a whole video about dupes, and I compare them side by side. I still prefer the Glow Recipe. I think it feels better on my skin. But I, you guys know I love like skincare primers more than anything and this gives a very similar effect. It adds some hydration, it adds glow without it being like shimmery. It does look very beautiful on the skin. I do think it creates a really nice base. It does smell like fake watermelon if you guys don't like scents. I would probably stay away from this one. It's, it's not like too, too strong, but it's noticeable. I really like it and I think for the affordability, which all these products are super affordable, I do think it's nice. It comes in a glass bottle with a pump. As you can see, it looks really pretty. This foundation and the concealer were kind of like the inspiration for this video. I realized how much like more essence came out with new products. I haven't tried this one. I have tried the concealer, but we'll, I don't want to give you no spoilers. This is the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Transfer and Waterproof Foundation. I did get the shade 130 Medium. Let's just get this out of the way. Essence does not have a good shade range. I don't know why. They're such a big company. We'll see how this one works out, but chances are you probably won't find your perfect shade. It's described as a long lasting foundation, silky lightweight texture. I love a good lightweight foundation. Smooth matte finish, medium to high coverage, up to 16 hour wear. It's a matte foundation, which scares me a little bit. I do have normal skin. It's not as dry anymore, but if it's lightweight, I'm probably gonna like it. So that's three pumps. Let's do one side with a brush and one side with a sponge. Right now it does feel very, very lightweight actually, which is gonna be really nice. Um, I think this shade might actually work. I'm gonna save this for the other side. You guys asked me a lot about this foundation brush. It's a BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A507. So I'm gonna stipple it like I always do and then I'll start kind of buffing. Oh yeah, a little bit goes a long way. I don't think I need it this much, but it's blending out very quickly. I have no idea if people like this or not. I have no idea if people love it or hate it, but not that that matters. I will let you guys know my personal opinion. So here is the side with it and here's without. Obviously we do have this primer that adds some hydration, which is probably a good thing with this foundation. Uh, so far it looks really nice. It's definitely giving me medium, medium uh, coverage. Maybe we can build it up a little bit. It's not giving me that full coverage right away, but maybe we can build it. Yeah, I mean, it's not the most full coverage foundation, but this is actually like a good amount of coverage for me personally. See how it wears with the rest of the makeup, but let's go ahead and try it out with a sponge. So far, I'm actually liking it. I think that it's super lightweight. It's giving me a really nice finish. It's giving me a good amount of coverage. It doesn't look heavy. We'll see how it wears, but first impression so far is really nice. To be honest, it looks great both ways. They, it, it looks equally good, which I will say most of the times I like to stick to a brush. Going in with this sponge on this side only, um, it didn't take away coverage. It's giving me the exact same finish. I think you could go either way with this foundation. I'll give you guys a wear test so we can kind of see how, you know, just how it works throughout the day. But so far I'm loving it. So we'll see how it goes with other products. Essence doesn't have a cream bronzer. I do have all like all of their powder bronzers. I did go ahead and buy their new cream blush. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cream bronzer, even though it's not Essence, just so that like we can kind of test out the cream uh, blush with that. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of my Anastasia Beverly Hills cream bronzer in the shade Caramel, and then we'll go in with the concealer. Okay, so moving on to the concealer, I have tried this out. If you guys didn't see the video where I did, so again, it's the Keep Me Covered Concealer with Aloe Vera. 
I got the shade, what shade is this? Oh, 60 Light Medium. And it's described as a buildable medium coverage, creamy texture with aloe vera and uh, good for sensitive skin. Something that I do like is that just like the foundation, it's extremely lightweight. Like this is very, very liquidy and it doesn't feel heavy at all. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. So spoiler alert, the reason why I don't love this concealer is because I feel like it does nothing for me. So it's buildable medium coverage and it's keep me covered, but I feel like it doesn't really keep me covered. You know what I mean? This is not bad, but I just don't think, um, I don't think it pairs well with the foundation because, I don't know, to me it doesn't give that much coverage, but let's go ahead and blend it out. This is only the second time that I've tried it, so let's give it one more shot, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out, and I am using it as my eyeshadow primer as well. This is what it looks like so far, and it just looks like extremely natural, which is fine, but I also remember that I didn't love it once I set it, so we'll see how that goes. Because it is a buildable medium coverage, I'm gonna go ahead and build it up just down here so that it can keep me a little more covered because I feel a little naked. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a sec and then we will um, blend it out. But like I mentioned, it's not a bad concealer. Um, more of an everyday concealer. I don't love it with powder. I just wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but so far the foundation is actually really nice. Alrighty, so let's move on to cream blush. This is gonna be a first impression. This is called the Essence Baby Got Blush. How cute is it? Silky, blendable texture for a naturally fresh complexion. So I ended up getting the shade 03 Rosé all day. This is what it looks like. It's more like a, uh, natural finish, but it doesn't have any shimmer. Oh my God, it smells like bubble gum. So I'm gonna grab it on a little BK Beauty brush. This is 109 and start kind of stamping it on and see what we can get. I don't know how uh, natural this is gonna be, but it's looking pretty natural. So now I'm gonna build it up more now that I know that it's not like extremely pigmented. Okay, now we're getting some pigment. Definitely like a light to medium uh, pigmentation. And it's a nice natural finish. It's not extremely dewy. I just feel like my skin is just glowy right now with like the primer and the foundation has not dried down matte yet. So it's probably a good thing for me. I like a more natural blush stick with just a little bit of dew, no shimmer, nothing too crazy. You might really like this. Very, very, strong scent that looks really pretty i like it it goes with the shirt it's cute we need to go ahead and set all the cream we have a lot going on right now i wanted to give another chance to this product because i remember trying it out in my um full face of essence and i just i don't know i feel like i didn't like it i don't know i never used it again but people rave about this so we're gonna give it another shot this is the all about matte fixing Compact powder. Extremely smooth fixing compact powder for a matte and natural finish all day long. Helps to blend blush and foundation colors together. Oh, it's a finishing powder. It's not a setting powder. Okay, I'm on the website and it says, using a fluffy brush, apply powder over the entire face to set your makeup or use for touch-ups. Okay, so we can set the makeup with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. And I'm also just gonna blend out the foundation a little bit. I'm not gonna use too, too much product because it is matte, so I'm just gonna tap off some excess and start setting. I really need to test if this has flashback because this powder looks white. It's kind of brightening me up a little bit, so this is nice so far. And so far, it doesn't feel super drying under the eyes, which I'm actually shocked. And now I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. This is from Profusion, it's the PD6. I'm trying to like let you guys know what brushes I'm using because I always forget and I'm trying to get better at it, okay? It's actually setting my face really nicely. And it is mattifying, but it's not making it look like crepey. So far, I'm liking this. The concealer, I'm not hating, to be honest. Um, the reason why I didn't love it, and I still don't love it, I'm not obsessed with it, it's because when you set it, it doesn't look very pretty. I know it's kind of hard to see with the camera, but it just makes my under eyes look more wrinkly and like a little crepey and for me like that's not worth it with a concealer that doesn't give me coverage like if you're giving me that full coverage and it looks a little crepey okay but because it doesn't really give coverage i just think that there's better everyday concealers that look a lot nicer under the eyes I saw a girl on tiktok talk about this product it's called the essence lip care booster lip serum 10 percent peach oil moisturize replenishes plumps and boosts it smells nice 
It smells a little like peach, but this is actually not as scented as the other products. So I actually like this. And it does come with a little like brush applicator. Let's try it out. Oh, this feels nice actually. Let me grab some more. Um, okay, so far I'm liking it. it. Almost feels like a lip oil, but one of those like thin versions and a little creamy, not sticky at all. This actually feels really nice. So first impressions, I'm liking it. Let's leave it on for the rest of the video and I'll let you guys know if my lips feel any smoother, but I'm liking this so far and it smells good. They have the Sun Club bronzing powder. They offer luminous as well as matte. The only problem is that they don't have a good shade range. I think there's only like two shades. I believe this is the darkest shade. Um, this one's in the shade 20, Sunkiss California. It did break. I do think you get a lot of product and good formula for the money. It's just the shade range. It's the shade. They're throwing some shade. If you were to get a bronzer from uh, Essence, you guys have heard me rave about this for years, but I think the matte bronzing palette is so good. It's so inexpensive. I think this would actually work better for deeper skin tones as well as lighter and medium. It comes with a mirror and it's all matte. So why don't we go ahead and use both today? So I'm just gonna mix these two shades. By the way, they're very pigmented, as you can see, but they are very blendable. And maybe I shouldn't have used the darker shade because I'm pretty fair right now compared to the rest of the year. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use this shade for now. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really nice bronzer palette. And I think the undertones are actually really nice. They're like neutral. They're not overly warm, overly cool. And we'll just add a little bit of like radiance. I mean, you could definitely use this by itself without it being too shimmery, but it adds some glow and like, why not? Let's do the eyebrows really quickly and then we'll go to blush because I look like an alien. Excited because I believe this is a brand new brow product. This is called the Brow Like a Boss Ink Brow Gel 72 Hour Lasting Waterproof. I got the shade O2 Brown and it's described as a long lasting colored eyebrow gel for perfect brows. I'm a little worried because I believe this comes with like a brush rather than a spoolie. What? I need to go on the website and read the instructions. This must be an Ulta exclusive, maybe, because it's not on the Essence website, but I did purchase it at Ulta.com. With the built-in brush, fill in sparse areas and sculpt existing brows. Once dry, tame and set your look with the Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. I didn't buy that because I thought this was just a brow gel, so we'll just use another brow gel, I guess. I am terrified. Um, I don't want to be like that annoying YouTuber that I'm like, I'm scared, but like, would you be scared of this? Yes, you would. Let me take off like so much of the excess. It does have like a little angled brush. Can you see that? Look at that. Maybe we can, I don't know what I'm doing. This is like very liquidy. Okay. Let's start out at the end. I took off like 90% of the product. Just letting you guys know. Is this supposed to be like the Wonder Brow? You guys remember that? I used to use that when I didn't have eyebrows before I got microblading on beach vacations. <sighs> gotta do what you gotta do. And it said once dries, go in with a brow gel. So it seems like this isn't gonna shape our brows at all. I think it's just gonna add like long lasting color. Like I mentioned, I'm taking off so, so much product. So, you know, that could be a negative or it could be a positive because it could last you a really long time because you don't need that much product. Okay, so yeah, not the most easy to use. I think you should try to use it the way you would use a brow pomade. Get the eyebrow brush that you like and then grab it and maybe do it like flicks of hair. My eyebrows will always look weird unless I put some brow gel on there. So I'm gonna let this dry for a minute while we do the blush and then we will put some brow gel and see, you know, how it is. Obviously we're gonna test out the formula because I think it's just supposed to be like some longevity, some brows you wanna put when you wanna go to the pool or the beach or something like that. I don't know, or maybe you have really oily skin. I'm so out of breath. I had to, I had to um, open the door for someone and I just went up and down the stairs running. So if I sound like I'm out of breath, I am. If you guys watch my channel, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna put them in your face again. These are the brand new blushes from Pure, no, from Essence. They're the Pure Nude blushes. I've 
already raved about these. Uh, these are great. These are buildable. Um, you guys let me know that for some of you guys it was very hard to build. Um, they're going to be very natural blushes. They're like the pure nude. The pure nude line is something very natural, which is also something that I love. This doesn't build up enough for you guys. Use a cream blush first and this just adds the most beautiful touch. I have the shade Rosy Rosewood, which is more of like a pinky. And then I have Berry Cheeks, which is more of a berry. I want to show you both, so I'll put them on each on both cheeks and then we'll mix them. Um, it's described as a silky, ultra smooth texture, adds color, accents to your cheeks, give the complexion a fresh look. Something about this formula to me just reminds me of like a high-end product for a natural finish. We obviously have the cream blush here, so I'm going to grab a more dense brush because these are so natural. And I just like to pack it, and to me, they build up pretty nicely. I love it because it's a satin finish, and so it's not matte. It's not lifeless, but it's not shimmery. It's not gonna really create any like texture for you, but it's gonna be lifelike. This one for some reason is a little bit more pigmented. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of a lighter hand. That's what that looks like. Very similar. This is just a little bit more cool toned. Who is texting me? Better be important. Ooh, Steve Madden, your boots are on their way. So I'm gonna put these away. Let's quickly add some brow gel just so we can be done with that. And then we can try out one of their new eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna use the Milani Stay Put Liquid Brow Wax. The brows do feel a little stiff right now because of that product. This is definitely just reminding me of Wonder Brow. I'm so sorry if you have no idea what Wonder Brow is. Maybe I'm just older than you. I don't think I'm gonna go in with any more brow products. I think this should be enough. And then we can really test out that formula. So moving on to eyeshadow palette, I'm super excited. Again, I feel like this whole vibe is so pinky and it wasn't on purpose. Um, they did come out with a couple of new eyeshadow palettes. I decided to buy this one. So this is the Essence Blooming Wings eyeshadow palette. Is this a dupe for the Huda Beauty palette? Um, should I grab it real quick? So this is the Huda Beauty new nudes palette. It's the nudes palette. I mean, look. Are they supposed to be dupes? I bet you I could recreate a look with both of these. So maybe I will save this for a dupes video, but today we're gonna be using this one. This is 18 shades mix of mattes and metallics. So um, I know this video is super long already, so um, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to speed up through the eyeshadow just because there are so many products to talk about. I will let you guys know how it all worked out. I will leave it in the video though. So let's go ahead, put some music on and let's get started. Okay guys, I'm done. All I added was a little bit of gel liner in my upper waterline. I actually really like this palette. Here are some swatches of the shimmers. This is really nice. They're not the most like pigmented, but they're buildable and easy to work with. I think this is extremely beginner friendly. The color story is really beautiful. They all worked really well. They blended nice together. It comes with a mirror and it's super affordable. I give this a thumbs up. I think if you're looking for a like rosy, purpley palette or you want something very similar to this, this is really nice. I will go ahead and compare these in a dupe video, but I definitely recommend this. It's really pretty. So for eyeliner, um, I'm going to use uh, an old favorite. I have these two eyebrow pens. Um, they're called the eyeliner pens, but one is super fine and one is just a regular. This super fine one I've had for a very long time. This is really nice. It is a felt tip applicator. I prefer a brush, but it is a waterproof liner that works really well. I did go ahead and buy this one. It still is the nice formula. It just doesn't have the super fine 
felt tip that I prefer, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a winged liner. Okay, I just got humbled, humbled. So let me just say one thing. I do prefer the super fine one because this little tip is really nice. You literally get your eyes so, so quick. Um, so I do prefer this one. Um, I won't be using these anymore because I, I'm only 28, I know, but I, I do have fine lines around my eyes already and it's also like thinner and so, <laughs> When I said I got humble, it's because um, these like felt tip pens kind of skip on me because I don't have that firm, firm skin anymore that I used to, you know, when I was 15. So I do prefer a brush tip, but I will say if you'd like felt tip, these are good and they're affordable. I'm gonna curl my lashes really quickly so we can do some mascara and we're almost done with this video. Today for mascara, we're gonna be using their brand new mascara. They do have a waterproof version, I believe. This is the regular. This is called the Lash Like a Boss Mascara Ultra Black Inset Volume and Length. I have already reviewed this on my channel and this is what the wand looks like. It does have a little bit of a curve. So I'm gonna go ahead and add two coats on each eye per usual. It gives you a very feathery, wispy effect. You guys know I love like piling on mascara. I really do like to overdo it. It's just my personal opinion. So this wouldn't be like the only mascara that I would use. I think by itself it is a nice mascara. I, me personally, I would pair it with something else just to give a little bit more definition. But I do think it's a nice mascara. Essence usually has really nice mascaras with good formulas. And again, they're so affordable that you really can't go wrong. So this is what the mascara looks like. It's just a little bit more on the natural side. Like I mentioned, it is pretty, but I just prefer, at the end of the day, I just prefer a silicone brush because it grabs my mascara, I mean, my lashes a little bit more. So it's just, it's more of a for an every day, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's set the face. I do have two setting mists. I believe this is a, uh, like a primer and a refresher. So we could use this one. And then I have the You Better Work Fixing Spray. I'm not sure if this is available anymore. So let's go ahead and use this one. So this is called the Hello Good Stuff 3-in-1 Face Mist. It's supposed to hydrate, fix, and freshen. So let's go ahead and add this just so that because we have so many matte products, it refreshes it a little bit. And by the way, extremely nice mist. It's very wide, but very fine. And this does also smell like watermelon. Um, I do like this. I have used it before and it's just a hydrating set in mist. You guys, I literally bought this product for this video and we forgot to use it. So I'm gonna let my skin dry while we do the lips and then we'll finish off the video with this product. For a lip liner, I'm gonna be using the eight hour matte comfort lip liner. And this one is in the shade cinnamon spice. These are really nice. They're easy to use. They're pigmented and they are long lasting. Today I'm thinking just lip liner and lip gloss because I'm very excited to try this gloss out. So many people talk about this uh, lip gloss and I just want to give it a shot. So this is the Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss Extreme Plumping. Went ahead and got the shade Sweet Dreams. It's like a very light pink with a little bit of glitter. It does come with like a little triangle applicator. Ooh, that feels nice right off the bat. Oh, oh, it's a little minty. It smells really fresh, a little minty, but not overly like fragranced. Not sticky at all. Not overly thick, but not overly thin, like that good in between. This looks really, really pretty. I really like this. So far, I'm loving this. This feels really nice. And by the way, that lip serum also made my lips feel really nice. So, so far, I'm loving all the lip products. I'm gonna quickly grab this little powder again and just hit any of the spots that look a little too luminous with that setting spray. And let's quickly use this product. I'm so sorry that I forgot to use this. Maybe it'll be like a little highlighter. This is the Kissed by the Light Illuminating Powder, multi-use illuminating powder. They have like a pinky version. I went ahead and got the bronzy version. Let's just use this as like a bronzer topper since we don't have highlighter on. Oh wow, this is definitely adding highlights. So, this is definitely going to be a highlight for darker skin tone, medium to dark, because this is actually working really nice for me. But it adds a little bit of bronziness. I'm so sorry that I forgot to use this, but this looks really pretty. See how I look instantly bronzed? This I would use more as a bronzer topper and skip out on highlight. That looks really, really good. That is the end of the video. I have to say I'm pretty impressed. And so far that foundation still looks very, very pretty. So I really did love everything other than the concealer. And 
So far I'm loving this. Like this is such an affordable full face of makeup. So let's do a wear test. By the way, my lips are getting a little plumped, but it don't hurt at all. It doesn't, it don't hurt. So don't worry about any of the pain. It feels really nice and like minty. And so far I'm loving this. So let's go ahead and see how it wears. So I will see you guys by the end of the day. It's 11 a.m. So I'll see you guys like late at night and I will let you guys know how this wore. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Hey guys, I'm sorry if the lighting is a little dark. I don't know if you guys can see, we lost the light bulb. Anyways, it's been about nine hours. Um, I have to take a shower, but I wanted to show you guys that the foundation looks really good. I'm looking in the mirror and it wasn't drying at all. If anything, there's like a little bit of luminosity in my skin, obviously because of that highlighter, but everything looks really good. The eyebrows, the color hasn't moved at all. The eyeshadow looks really pretty, the blush, everything. But overall, I'm super happy with it. And like I mentioned, the foundation wore really, really well. So pretty much all the thoughts that I mentioned, I still fully believe. I think my makeup looks great. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.